What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I'd love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday and today's video I'm very excited. I'm going to be reviewing the new split programs that dropped. This video is going to be Jermaine's intermediate three day split. And I know in my last split program review video, I said I was going to pick one. I had done the four that were out. So I had done Robins, Adrian's, Callie's, and Maddie's, and I was ready to start repeating them. And you know, you get the most benefit from the split programs when you like stick to one and keep repeating it. That's like where you'll see the gains. But then as soon as I'm editing that video, I go to the program tab of Peloton to get like details about Adrian's and I see that they've added two more. So they've added a three day intermediate split by Jermaine Johnson and a five day intermediate split by Ben Aldis. And Jermaine and Ben, how can I not take them? They are some of my favorite instructors. So, you know, we're back on trying the different splits, but I have super high hopes for both of these programs and I'm going back to Pennsylvania this Saturday where unfortunately I will not have weights for around two weeks while I'm celebrating the holidays with my family, but I can definitely squeeze in this Jermaine little three-day split before I go. And then we'll have to wait for Ben's five-day split after the new year but today is Tuesday so we're definitely like really squeezing it in in a little less than a week but I think it's okay it's only three classes and it is 30 minutes a day the description is maximize your workouts by split training with JJ increase strength and build muscle in this one week guide program by using heavier weight and targeting specific areas of the body in each workout repeat and track your progress and I do not have a peloton guide just do these workouts in the apartment gym I'm in absolutely Absolutely have no problems I feel like all the instructors are really good about like saying things if you do have the guide like oh follow along on your screen like you can I think like see your projection on the screen but if you don't have a guide it's also totally fine totally doable still very very enjoyable these are definitely some of my favorite programs on Peloton so I'm excited that they released them with two instructors that I really like and I also think I like intermediate splits more than advanced splits probably because I'm more of an intermediate weightlifter. So today is class one. It is a 30 minute upper body push class, tagged intermediate with Jermaine Johnson. The description is target your chest, shoulders, and triceps in this dynamic upper body push workout. I feel like every instructor has their own twist on split programs. I don't know what to expect, but I really like Jermaine. So let's go to the gym and hit the weights and knock out this first class. I really, really loved that strength class, but man, oh man, I also pushed myself very, very hard, but it felt good. And I was like, you know, I need to push up from 10 pounds to 15 pounds for tricep days eventually. Let's just seize the day and do it today. Like I knew it was going to be so hard, but I feel like I have kind of like reached my max at the 10 pounds where I don't feel like it's as an effective of a workout. So today was definitely a push. So Jermaine started off, we did a great mobility warm up, the kind of warm ups I like, completely body weight, a lot of like opening up the pecs, opening up the shoulders, felt very, very good, especially because I was going into this cold, got me ready to lift some weights. Jermaine said to grab medium and heavy weights. I believe he said medium could be 10 to 20 pounds and heavy could be 15 to 30 pounds. And I liked that he kind of gave a range. Obviously you don't have to follow it, but it helped me like pick my weights. And sometimes it's hard to tell like what is the right weight to pick. So I picked 15 pounds for medium and 20 pounds for heavy. I knew this was going to be a huge push for arm day. I typically do like 10 to 15 pounds for arms and like sometimes go up to 20, but not frequently. Then we got right on into the first set, which was chest flies and then chest presses. 
I did 15 pounds for chest flies and 20 pounds for chest presses. That's what he wanted you to do, medium for chest flies, heavy for chest presses, and this was a huge, huge push. Typically, I do 10 pounds for chest flies, but I was like, you know what? Today's the day we're gonna push it. And then for the chest presses, I have done 20 pounds before, but that's a hard push, especially when you're doing 15 pounds on the chest flies and you're like alternating between the two. Didn't get a ton of rest between them. I believe we repeated it three times. Then we went into our second set, which was skull crushers and then shoulder presses. And I did 15 pounds for both. He recommended medium for both. And he was like, you can go up to 20 pounds for the shoulder presses if you want. And I'm like, nah, I'm good fam. Like this was crazy hard for me. And 15 pounds skull crushers, never done that heavy before. It was a struggle. Literally, like my whole chest was shaking. Like I feel like I've done workouts before where my arms shake and my arms were shaking during this workout, but my chest was also shaking, not in like a bad way. It was just really hard. I didn't feel like I was like over straining myself though. I guess we'll see if I'm sore tomorrow, but it was just a really big push and like something I've never done before, but I'm glad for the challenge that like Jermaine pushed me. Also, I feel like that wasn't his intention. Like in the class, he's like, yeah, not every day needs to be like this super hard day. And I'm like, well, today is a super hard day for me. Like I'm pushing myself hard. And then after that, we did the two moves from the first set and the two moves from the second set and repeated them all again in like a mini, I don't know, like super set. We just did everything. I did medium weights the whole time. Also, I'm pretty sure we did push-ups in the first set as well, but we skipped them when we repeated them all over. So we just did four moves. And then we had a nice little AMRAP finisher, which he did warn us about, but he didn't tell us what it was. So we did, I actually don't remember what these are called, like lateral raises, except they're in front of you. Six of those, then actual lateral raises to the side, and then six tricep push-ups. So six of every move, and we did it for three minutes. I only had 15 pounds as my lightest weight, and I don't think I've ever done lateral raises with 15 pounds. It was very, very hard. I had to go very, very slow. So I only went through the set twice, but I really like like a nice little AMRAP just because I feel like when I retake this class in the future, that will be like a really obvious mark. Like, can I do more moves than I did today? And I feel like hopefully I can. We'll see if I keep pushing the weight. But overall, I just really, really loved the class. I loved that it kind of provided this challenge for me that felt really hard in the moment, but like wasn't like, oh, this is just like overstraining me. Love the warm up. I loved Jermaine's personality. He was a little goofy during it. I thought it was super fun. I'm super excited for the other two classes in this program because today I would give it like a nine out of 10 for difficulty, but that's definitely on me. Could be easier if you didn't push yourself so hard, but like literally like a 9.5 out of 10 for enjoyment. I really, really enjoyed the strength class and I feel like this could be my favorite split so far. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm very excited for the other two classes. It is now the next day, it's Wednesday morning and I'm definitely a little sore, but really not as bad as I thought I would be. And I definitely can like still work out through it and be totally fine. I can feel it in my triceps, which typically my triceps are not sore, but it makes sense because I pushed weight yesterday and then a little bit in my chest. For me, when I wake up, I feel like the most sore. And then once I like start moving around, I feel a lot better almost immediately, which I guess is good. It's just interesting like how there's such a big improvement. I don't know if you get the blood flow in, everything feels good again, but I am ready for the next class. Today is class two. It's a 30 minute upper body pool class, tagged intermediate by Jermaine Johnson. The description is grab your weights and get ready for this upper body split work focused on strengthening your back and biceps. And I see a lot of rows in my future, see a lot of bicep curls. I like biceps, I'm okay with back, but I love Jermaine Johnson. So I think it should be another great class. So let's go to the gym and just hit the weights. That was another great class that I really enjoyed. So we started off with a nice mobility warm up, 
really opening up the back was the main focus, which makes sense because it was back day. Jermaine said to get lightweights, which were five to 10 pounds, medium weights, which were 10 to 20 pounds, and heavyweights that were 15 to 30 pounds. I got 10, 15, 20 respectively. And honestly, I didn't use the 20 pounds at all. There were a lot of options to like go up to heavier weights, but 15 pounds was like the max for me. Maybe that was supposed to be my heavyweights, but it was fine. I'd rather grab like a heavier weight and then not go up to it rather than being in the middle of the workout and be like, oh, I need to like go grab heavier weights. And I never felt like 10 pounds was too heavy. Like five pounds would have been too light for me for the lightweights. So it all worked out. The first set was bent over rows, like wide angle. So kind of bringing them out to your side. I used 15 pounds. He said to use medium weights and like maybe push to heavy if you were feeling it. I was not feeling it. 15 pounds was good. After that, we did just normal bicep curls with the 15 pounds, and that was definitely a big push for me. And we finished off with chest flies on our knees, which I did with my 10 pounds lightweights. That's also what Jermaine recommended. We repeated this set three times. I believe we did every move in this entire workout, like either 30 to 45 seconds long, except for the last repeat, the last movie always makes you do a minute. He did that yesterday too, which I don't mind. Like, you know, it's coming. It's a little bit of a push. Then the second set, we did just normal bent over rows, except it was like asymmetric. So you started with one and you would like alternate between the two. And when you weren't using whichever arm, you had it in the like pulled up position, which I think is significantly harder than when you just like leave it hanging towards the ground, which is what I typically do when I do like alternating rows. So that was a push, did 15 pounds. And then we did hammer curls while balancing on one foot. And the logic behind that was to like really activate your core. And it also helps you like not swing around as much as when you do hammer curls. Like typically if you have too heavy of weights, it's really easy to kind of like throw your back into hammer curls, which is not what you're supposed to do. So I appreciated that this helped with form. Also brought in core, made it a little bit harder and kept it interesting. I've never done hammer curls on one foot. And we repeated that set three times, alternating which foot we were standing on for the hammer curls. So then it's obvious we're gonna do a fourth set which was like a mega set super set of all five moves that we had done in the previous two sets and he also did that yesterday so you can tell that that's kind of like his signature I kind of like it because we already have done the move so many times that like I have the form pretty good I know what weights to use so it really feels like a seamless transition and you kind of get to hit every single move one last time and then we just had a two minute imam at the end which was just 10 renegade rows he said to either use your light or medium I opted for the medium because when he said 10 he only means five on each side so this only took me like 20 to 20 25 seconds, lots of recovery time in an EMOM, which you know I love. So I appreciated that we kind of had a chance to get in some extra moves in the last two minutes, but it wasn't like some crazy EMOM and that I could do 15 pounds rather than like doing lighter weights so that I could get them done faster. You have enough time so you can push the heavier weights. Overall, I really enjoyed this class as well. I definitely felt like I pushed the weight, especially for like the bicep and hammer curls. I typically do like a 10 to 12.5 weight for that. So pushing up to the 15 pounds felt like a stretch, but it felt manageable. It is interesting because one of my biggest complaints about Adrian's split program is that in the different sets, we would hit like all the different focus areas we were trying to focus on that day. And Jermaine is the same, like he'll mix like biceps and back work. So far I've liked it because I feel like kind of all arm exercises like go together and that if you're working one, it's like natural to work the others. So I'm really interested to see how I like the last day in the split because that's leg and core. But so far I've really, really enjoyed these past two days. This is looking like it'll be my favorite split. I'm going to take a rest day tomorrow, but I will see you guys on Friday when we wrap up this program. It is now Friday morning. I had a nice strength rest day yesterday. So I'm ready to get back at it. 
Again, I was a little bit sore from the push class yesterday, but nothing too bad and like it goes away in the morning pretty quickly. So I'm ready to take the 30 minute legs and core class today, Tagged Intermediate by Jermaine Johnson, class three. The description is this split workout focuses on strengthening your largest muscles while also improving core and lower back stability. And I love legs. I do not like core, but you know, if anyone can make me enjoy this class, it would be Jermaine Johnson. So let's go to the gym and knock out this last class in this split program. I really, really love that class. I mean, mostly for it just being a leg class, I wouldn't really consider it a core class, but we started off with a five minute mobility warm up, body weight, very great. We just warmed up all of our muscles, basically our legs, our glutes and our core. We warmed up, everything was great. He said to grab medium and heavy weights, medium were 10 to 20, heavy were 15 to 30. I grabbed 15 pounds for my medium and 20 pounds for my heavy. And I actually didn't use the medium weights at all. It is possible to just do one set of weights in this class. Essentially, the medium weights are if you think your heavy weights are too hard and you want to go down for any exercises, but he didn't actually specify to use the medium weights for anything. And I think next time I would push myself and get 20 and 25 pounds. I definitely couldn't do all the exercises with 25 pounds, but I feel like I'm getting stronger. And I remember when doing 20 pounds would be like the hardest thing ever. And it was still a hard class, but I feel like I could even start to push myself hard Harder, which is awesome like that's the whole point of these split training programs this class was structured a bit differently than the other classes the main thing is is there was only like one really big set and we did it four times the set was squats with our heavy weights and then a front lunge and a back lunge and you stayed on one side then you did the other side then you did alternating single deadlifts and you finished off with a plank. You used heavy weights or if you wanted to go down to medium weights for all of the leg movements and then obviously for plank, that's just a body weight. For the first two repetitions of the set, we racked the weights, which man, oh man, that's hard. That really works your core. We didn't do a ton of like core specific moves in this class, but I think his argument was that like you're using your core when you're working out your legs, which is true, especially when you are racking the weights. So we racked the weights for the squats and the lunges. And then we like obviously held them in front of us for the deadlifts for the first two times. And we did a elbow plank. And then the last two times we got to hang the weights by our side, which felt a little bit easier, which was nice. And then we did a straight arm plank on those two repetitions. And that took like 20 minutes of the class because we did 45 seconds of each of the leg moves with a 15 second recovery and then 30 seconds for the plank with a 30 second recovery. So that like really made the class fly by because it was just this one monster set that we were just like chugging through. I really liked the exercises. I felt like they were simple but effective and I could really push weight on them and that I was never like really struggling with form, which always feels good. So we went through that whole set and then there's only like four minutes of class left. So we did manage to fit a little three minute AMRAP at the end, which were like split lunges. So you would like take your right foot back, go on a lunge and then go up and down four times, do it on the other side and then do eight bicycles. And then you saw how many times you could do that circuit. So when you repeat it, you can see if you got any better. I liked the split lunges, but I feel like for bicycles, if I'm only doing eight, like I'm not really getting into the exercise enough and I need to do it longer. So I really did love this class for legs, but I feel like it was like a little lacking on core. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about core. I hear from some instructors that it's like, you should be exercising core in like all of your exercise classes. Like you use core in everything. So you don't need to do like as many specific core exercises. 
but also when I was doing the hardcore calendar and I was doing 10 minutes of core every day, I definitely saw improvement in like all assets of my workout because I just had a stronger core. So I feel like this entire program is like lacking a little bit of core, but besides that, I really loved it. And I feel like this whole program is definitely my favorite split so far. I love Jermaine. I just really vibe with his personality. Like, I feel like he's the perfect balance of being like a little funny, a little goofy, but then also having like really effective workouts. I admire like the simplicity of the workouts that allow you to push weight really hard. And you saw this week, like I definitely pushed weight, but that's like the whole point of these split programs. I would give the class today like a seven out of 10 for difficulty, but I was really, really sweating, which is a surprise because I do sweat a lot when I do cardio, but I don't usually sweat as much when I'm lifting weights, but today he was really, really working us, but I give this entire program like a 9.5 out of 10. I really don't see another split program that I would like more. I just feel like it has everything that I want, but we'll see. I still got to give Ben all this a chance. He is my favorite cycling instructor, so maybe he'll come through with a really good split program. But so far, I really, really have enjoyed Jermaine's program. So let me know if you've taken Jermaine or Ben's split program, and if so, what you think. I'm glad that they are adding more split programs to the app. Like, this is definitely one of my favorite things that is offered on Peloton right now. So I was hyped when I saw two new programs with two of my favorite instructors. That is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying safe, having an awesome week. I'll see you in my next video when I'm in Pennsylvania. Bye.